my name is Anna Sakal, and I graduated high school in 2008. I went to Kearney High's Construction Tech Academy. Before I went to Construction Tech Academy, I didn't really like school. My parents really were never kind of there monitoring if we went to school or not. Ninth grade started in my traditional school, and I didn't go for like two months until like somebody called my mom, and then I started going. Family problems happened, and I ended up leaving. So it's like I dropped out twice. Why do we need to learn this? That was always my question. That's why I didn't bother in ninth grade. They're actually showing us that we're going to need these skills when we get to the real world. So they're trying to prepare us for not just college, but like preparing us for life after high school. What is the material that you're using glass? It's glass. What do you use glass for? Because I wanted to do see through. It'd be like you could like lighting, so we don't waste that much electricity. I know, but I mean, when you actually have, uh, you know, a structural element, you are supposed to actually just be able to build it. Right now, I'm in my last semester of college, so I'm here at San Diego State University in the J.R. Philong's Construction and Engineering Management Program. The Construction Tech Academy was different from your traditional high school because they have architecture, construction, and engineering integrated into all the courses. The first day that I started at CTA, the counselor said, hey, if you're going to be here, you have to be here every day. You have to do your work and turn it in. Construction Tech Academy prepared me for college because we have, you know, we have to follow those requirements, A through G requirements. But they also had advisory projects where each year for one advisory project, like they would show us different career pathways. So you can go to college or you can go to apprenticeship or you can go military. Like they expose you. The reason I really wanted to do it is because one day we had a job shadow. I had to follow a lady for San Diego City Schools and she was a project manager. She just motivated me. She gave me that drive. We had a lot of group presentations, so we had to work as a team. So we learned how to work as in a team environment. So now that I'm at SCSU, th that's nothing to me. I know how to work with a team. I know how to be a leader, how to take charge and you know assign tasks. Like I learned that in high school. So Save up is that how much that. money they're gonna give us to pay for the solar or? No, they're gonna give us 50 cents per kilowatt of production that we're gonna do. I'll be graduating in May 19th, so we have two more weeks left kind of of school and finals. I got an offer from University Mechanical, so I'm going to start working with them. I'll be using Revit and AutoCAD, which I learned in Construction Tech Academy, so I'll be putting those skills that I learned there to use. Oh, like saying, oh, something got bigger, then that means, oh, okay. Okay, oh, that's so much Yes. When I was 14 or 15 years old, I did not think I would be working here. When I was 15 years old, I was working at Jack in the Box. And that's where I thought I was going to end up because that's where my parents worked. And that's where the rest of my family worked. Construction doesn't just mean having a shovel and digging dirt. You can be a carpenter, you can be a painter, you can be a sheet metal worker, you can be a plumber, you can be an engineer. There's all kinds of engineers. So you can be a project manager. You can, you can start from the bottom and actually own your company one day. I really love what I'm doing now, and I can help others. That's really important to me. I think mentoring is really important because if it wasn't for people mentoring me, I would have probably not gotten into this field. Magic Camp stands for Mentoring a Girl in Construction, and this is a summer camp that is a week long that occurs at CTA. NAWIC, which is the National Association of Women in Construction, they host this camp for the girls. Yeah, okay. we're going to go all the way across both ways. Okay. I've been part of it since 2008 when I, when I graduated. The first year, you know, I was an apprentice. The second year, we built something. And now I'm like the project manager. So I supervise the girls and make sure that they're working safely. Okay, stop. So it's like that. Stand up, stand up, because you have more force in your feet. And you need both hands, yeah. It's, it's really fun to watch them out there. I, I love mentoring and I love watching the girls grow. And every year I learn something new. I'm very excited um, for my future. I think finally I have a place where I belong. Sometimes you don't know where life's gonna take you or what you're gonna do, but you always have to keep trying. To accomplish anything, you have to keep, keep moving. So that's one of the things that I've learned. There's so many things out there that you don't know. And the best thing that you can do is Learn.